Hey folks, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwei. Today, I'm just checking in, letting you know a few of the things that are going on through this channel, because of this channel, through our amazing uh, Patreon uh, supporters. Um, so, first thing, a couple of days ago, just before the Super Bowl, I tweeted an image of, uh, it was a cartoon of this football player crossing the, uh, I was going to say the finish line, crossing the, the, the goal line. Uh, for a touchdown saying, Jesus, this one's for you. And then the other image underneath it was Jesus watching a hockey game. Anyway, somebody made a comment about that on Twitter and it reminded me of a joke. And so I thought, I'm going to start this out by telling you a joke. Now, you have to know, first and foremost, I'm a huge Bruins fan, a huge Boston Bruins fan. And uh, anyhow, so that's the precursor. Here's the joke, if I haven't ruined it already. This guy, Doug. Doug. Doug dies. And when Doug dies, he goes to heaven. And of course, he gets to heaven at the pearly gates. He bumps into St. Peter. St. Peter says, come on in. He welcomes him in. And St. Peter gives him a personal tour of heaven. He says, oh, this is, uh, this is where we, we meet for concerts. We got some of the best musicians. You know, Bach is here and Beethoven is here and Jimi Hendrix is here. And when those guys get, get jamming together, it's incredible. It's amazing. Oh, okay. Doug's pretty impressed by that. And he, takes him over and he shows him this big, huge movie theater. And he says, we've got some of the absolute best uh, movie makers, but not only movie makers, like, like Shakespeare. Shakespeare's taken up film. And so we have all that kind of thing. It's happening here in this movie theater. And he, he takes him to another place and he shows him this wonderful thing. And he takes him to another place and he shows him this wonderful thing. And as Doug is walking around with St. Peter, he's meeting all these famous individuals. And he's... he's, he's you know, seeing all this marvelous stuff, and he's just absolutely enamored with the place. But Doug's a hockey fan. He says, you know, Peter, or excuse me, St. Peter, I don't see any, I don't see any rinks. Peter says, oh, we got rinks, man. We got rinks, we got football fields, we got baseball diamonds, we got basketball courts, we got all that stuff. He takes them down, he shows them the rink. They, they, they're looking out in this big, a huge, beautiful outdoor rink, thousands of seats and, and wonderful ice. And down there, he, he sees this guy just, you know, cruising around. You know, the guy's he's skating, he's shooting, he's, he's stopping, he, he's dynamic, he's powerful, he's all the things that you'd ever want in a, in a skater. And Peter says, well, you know, you've introduced me to all these people, but I don't, I don't recognize that hockey player. Who is that? St. Peter turns to me and says, oh, that's just God. He thinks he's Bobby Orr. That's the joke. This is where you, you can pause it now if you just can't stop yourself from laughing so loud that, you know, it's a big, huge belly laugh. And you don't want it. No, I'm teasing. Anyway, so this month, um, the money that's come through through our supporters on Patreon, I mentioned last month we've taken that money and that's going to be going towards uh, a ministry initiative launched by one of our guys here in this parish, a guy named Danny. Danny is... is He's, he's, um, you should pray for him because he's discerning for the diaconate and he's really, really, he's got a big heart for, for those in need. And, and I think God's placed on his heart to, to feed people. So we have a, a sister parish just up the road who has a wonderful food bank, a uh, soup kitchen, excuse me. And Danny is going to be preparing a meal with some help from the folks here to take up to their church because their church is, is better located for this kind of ministry. And he's going to prepare a meal for uh, between 150 and 175 people right now. So that's where those funds that came through on Patreon are going to go. Now into the future, as spring rolls around, as the COVID restrictions lift, we are in a wonderful neighborhood here at St. Margaret of Scotland. We have some wonderful people who are, who are working, who are you know, members of this congregation, but we have some really incredible neighbors who want to get involved to do some things as well. So we're going to be looking for initiatives that can help us help people who may not actually even live in this neighborhood. Take what we have, the, the manpower, the, the, the assets that we have, the treasure, the time, and, and offer it in other corners of our city as a way of taking care of our neighbors, even though they might not live right next door to us. 
So it's pretty exciting. If you have any ideas or if you're in the Halifax area and you want to participate in something like this, I would love to hear from you. If you have any ideas of ministries that, that have taken place in your city that, that, we could, that we could steal, put them in the comments for me. I'd love to hear those as well. This last one, and I know this is going to be a short video, uh, this last one, it's, I think, this is something that I've been dreaming about, and we're just going to go ahead and do it. I haven't quite figured out all the ins and the outs. I don't know where all the nuts and bolts go, so we're just going to get started. Starting on Tuesday, February 22nd of 2022, I, I didn't do that on purpose with all the twos, at 1 o'clock Atlantic Standard Time, so Halifax time, 1 p.m., Halifax time, we're going to start a Bible slash book study. If you're interested in that, send me an email. Uh, or, yeah, hmm, oh, hmm. I'll put my email address in the comments of this video. Uh, send me an email and let me know that you want to participate. And uh, what we'll start with, we'll start with about 12 people. I apologize if, if others feel like they're being left out, but let's start with 12 people, see where that takes us. The first book, books, we're going to cover is going to be the Chronicles of Narnia, C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia. It's been a long time since I've read them, about four or five years. I'm desperate to read them again, but like so many other ministers, I have a thousand books to read. Thanks, Michael, by the way. You're always a gem when it comes to giving me more books to read. Uh, but I really want to read this series again. So we're going to start with the very first uh, book in the, in the series, and we're going to read one book a week. They're only, they're only thin. They're only, they're only itty-bitty books. We're going to read one book a week. We're going to get together. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about life. So Tuesday, February 22nd, and every Tuesday after that, starting at 1 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. If you're interested in joining me for that study, uh, send, me, send me an email. Beyond that, I think I'm getting this beard thing figured out. Spare not the oil, brush it often. You gotta wash it forever. Uh, another great tip that I got last month was you gotta trim your, you gotta trim your lip hair, your mustache part of it uh, more often than you gotta trim the rest of it. It keeps it out of your soup. Fant My wife makes a lot of soup. That was a fantastic, that was a fantastic suggestion. Anyhow, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray, I pray that the Lord will give us joy and peace as we minister in this world to one another and together. Amen. Nimoltis.